Hello everyone. T-shirts with different mathematical formulas and expressions are available on print-on-demand platforms like Redbubble, TeePublic, and Teespring are very much popular these days. If you are a designer and you love mathematics and you want to design some t-shirt with mathematical expression or formula with the Greek symbol and you are facing issues to have these in Adobe Illustrator or any other vector graphic software. Today I'm gonna show you a simple solution and for this you just need to have a little knowledge of LaTeX and you are good to go. Today I'm gonna use Inkscape and a web resource named LaTeX Previewer by Troy Hederson. To demonstrate, I'm gonna create a simple design with a mathematical expression and you need to follow these steps. First, you need to open the link given in the description and after that, a window will appear with a, a white blank area on the left hand side in which you need to enter a LaTeX expression. It will convert into a mathematical expression on the right hand side. So first of all, I need to enter the dollar sign in order to open and close the mathematical expression in LaTeX. So I'm gonna write e power and iota pi plus one equal zero. So when I click on the preview button, it will take some time and it will convert this LaTeX expression into a mathematical expression with a quite good graphics. As you see, the mathematical expression appears on the right hand side. In order to download this expression, you need to select the format first. And for this, there is a drop down menu available at the right bottom corner and you need to click this one and select the format for my case I'm gonna select SVG after that I'm gonna click pop-up and a new window will appear and this will download my expression automatically as the file is downloaded into my PC now I drag this file into my Inkscape environment and drop here as you can see this is an SVG input importer and it will import that SVG in 96 dpi that is a very good thing so I'm gonna click OK and it will and I have this SVG in my file so I'm gonna uh, zoom this by uh, by pressing ctrl shift and drag one of the corner to zoom it now you can see that this is a group of six object in this layer in order to ungroup I hold Control shift and G to ungroup and after that as there are six objects available so I select all these objects and then go to edit and clone and unlink clones recursively. I use this one because when I import this SVG they behave like an a symbol in order to convert these symbols to paths i use this one if i have only one object then i use unlink clone but i have several objects so i use unlink clone recursively as by this method i can uh, i can edit each and everything as a path so I did this. Now you can see this. If I select any of the object, it appears like an, it appears like a object. So after this, I can uh, rearrange them, make them closer or before gonna do this, I change the color of each thing for the sake of some beauty. I put this and uh, one, let's say this is in green and zero maybe in uh, like say pink so this is my mathematical expression and i write something uh, behind this or maybe uh, on the upper to create a very beautiful design uh, for my t-shirt that will be available on any pod platform i think this video will help you to create mathematical formulas or expressions in inkscape or any vector graphic software and you can create a lot much designs over there thank you so much